we're going to try to attach these leads to this conductive PLA. I'm going to prepare the leads. Strip off about 10 centimeters. This wire, by the way, came from a regular 10 base T Ethernet cable. I'm going to twist them up a bit. Bend them up. A nice blob of solder on there. going to be using this welder soldering iron because it has an adjustment to where I can adjust it down to about 375 or 380 degrees Fahrenheit. And the tip, the tip is going to be a dedicated plastic melting tip now. Okay, I'm going to melt this in there. Just heat it up. Until it's well stuck. Okay, same thing with the other side. It's definitely slow stuff. Now I'm going to cover it up with a bit more plastic. To get as much surface area contact with the metal as possible. This adds to the strength as well. If you have room, it can also provide some strain relief for the wire. Okay. Okay, the separation is about... Oh, I give it... 40, 42 or 43 millimeters. And we've got about 1.8 K or so. Okay, I got the um, Power supply connected through the TVM to the PLA and I got a scope across the PLA and I got a AC coupled uh, 1x probe 50 millivolts per division just as a uh, uh, attempt to get an idea of, of any jumping or jittering that's going to be involved. Okay, I'm going to turn up the voltage a bit. Okay, here we got one volt and looks like less than a milliamp. So far, so good. Two, three, 
and my milliamps are starting to come up so it does actually conduct <laughs> I got I got 5.8 volts across it and looks like 8 milliamps so start going up to 10 volts here still no noise no arcing micro arcs or anything in there I got 22 milliamps going no heating so the connections look like they're hanging in there I got 14.5 volts now still no sign of any jumping or jittering no warming 35 milliamps so for 19 and that's how much my supply goes up to I got uh, 48 milliamps going through there so I think that the uh, connections are a success with no no jumping or jittering okay the following few slides will will give you an idea of, of more details about the, the construction of the bar Extruder has been replaced with a stainless steel 0.4 millimeter Thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like or leave a comment if you want.